China space exploration was back into a corner by the American year 2011 when the American banned China from the International Space Station, called ISS for short. Today, we will talk about why space exploration is important to a nation economic and security. I shall cover this area with you in detail. So China was forced to develop her own space station from scratch. Around 10 years later, now China have her own space station which is built by China herself, totally on her own. The China space station is called Tian Gong in Chinese, which means Heaven Palace. The China space station is only completed recently and now China is the only nation in the world to own a space station by herself in this world. On the other side, the International Space Station ISS which the American operate with Russian and other nations is expected to be out of operation by 2031. In fact, it should be out of operation by 2024 due to old age. But the American decided to extend the space station lifespan. And the main issue over here is that the American may need Russian help to run the ISS together and Russia may stop running the ISS together with the American in year 2024. So there's still a possibility that the ISS may be out of operation in 2024, leaving China the only nation with a space station in this world. So it showed that the American attempt to block China from space exploration is not successful. The situation may be different if the American choose to cooperate with China and did not ban China from the ISS in year 2011. And I don't think that, you know, the China want to share her space station with the American right now, right? Do you agree with me? But why is space station so important? Basically, with our space program, we will not have the technology to have GPS system. We can't forecast whether we will not have navigation system. Missile cannot be guided well to shoot on targets. So now I want you to understand the concept why space station is so important. It actually offers you a base to do research on our solar system and on new technology. This is because the space environment is different from Earth. It offers us an environment to do experiments on new technology that, you know, the Earth environment may not allow you to do so. For example, consumer product like wireless headset, LED lighting, portable cordless vacuum, freezer dry foods, scratch resistant, ice glass lens and many other modern day products that we use today have benefit from space technology and development in a way. Without this space research and technology, we may not be able to have these products today. So now with a whole new space station by herself to do research and experiments, China may acquire new technology and this technology may further enrich her and also may allow her to tremendously improve her military technology and also it may benefit her economy in many ways if China can invent new innovative products through this research in space that can benefit humans. So having a space station may be very important for any nation that inspire to be a superpower. Space station allow humans to study space and make improvement to our technology. Human space exploration help humans to address questions about our solar system. Space station also offer a base for humans to stay there for long periods of time and conduct long-term tests and research. Learning more about space allow us to even further improve our life on Earth in many ways. The most important thing is that the nation whom control space and have a lot of knowledge on space may develop weapons that can win future war and control the war economy in a way. Why is this so? Well, we need to understand that the movie we all watch from space war are not only science fiction. Most of this technology show in this movie may be acquired by human in the future through space research and experiments. All this technology and space weapon may be possible in the future. For example, China and Russia already have the technology to shoot down satellite. If most American military satellites are shut down, US military tree will become blind, unable to operate her jet planes, warship and shoot missile because this machine need GPS to operate and GPS needs satellite to guide them. Well, of course the American can also shoot down China and Russian satellite, but what if China managed to develop air defense system or air missile system in a space? for her satellite in the future. I mean, she may mount all this, you know, missile system and new technology on her space station in the future. 
I mean, since now she have a whole new space station to herself and may do re- research on this area. And on the other side, the American only have an old space station ISS which may end operation in 2024. Moreover, without satellite, your internet connection may be affected and most of your mobile phone connection will not work. All this will significantly hurt a nation economy because internet connection, mobile phone and GPS system are very important for a lot of business and military trade in this world. Satellite is used in many fields such as Earth observation, communication, navigation and science. Satellite data and information help humans to support the economy, ensure safety and national defense. For example, humans use satellite data to monitor volcano and their smoke, predict weather, track disease and famine, help farmers to know what food to plant and help emergency workers to respond on natural disaster. It also helps military tree to spy on other nations. You see, today no modern nation can function well without a satellite. So in a way, I think we can call it eye in the sky. It offer you a pair of eyes, you know, to look at the world from the sky. Something like that, yeah. Moreover, we all know that our Earth is heavily polluted and the global warming situation may get worsened in the future. So it may lead to Earth being unsuitable to be stayed by humans in the future. So the research is acquired the technology to enable humans to be able to live in other planets or in space may be a very important mission for human civilization. Having a space station will provide you a base to do the necessary research and experiments in space. The first nation who acquired this technology may have a lot of lavish and bargaining power over other nations in the future. Also, the nation who managed to find the right technology to find enough food or grow enough food for a lot of humans to survive in a space will have a lot of bargaining power over other nations in the future. The ability to let most humans live in other planets or space once Earth is not suitable for stay due to pollution and global warming is very important. Basically, China may be working in this direction. China's spacecraft have landed in Mars in 2021 and China is looking forward to build a sustainable human base on Mars in the future. She may extract Mars, mineral and resource in the future. Mars may be rich in iron, copper, zinc, gold, carbon and many other natural resources. With the right technology, carbon on Mars can be extracted to make plastic, rocket fuel or heating fuel. Carbon dioxide on Mars may be used to grow food on Mars and produce oxygen for humans. All this space technology may be possible in the future. The mineral on Mars like iron, copper and other resources may be extracted and used to build human base on Mars in the future. So as I mentioned earlier on, the nation that managed to master most of this space technology in the future should have a lot of bargaining power over other nations in the future. And with this technology, China may be able to build human city on Mars in the future, a whole new human civilization in space or on other planet may be possible if all this space technology is acquired by China in the future. So in short, the whole space exploration may look like how the Europeans start the world exploration a few hundred years ago, where nations like Spanish, Portuguese, England, Belgium and other European travel around the world with their navy and army, take control of those new found land resources in Asia American and Africa and colonize this new found land and people and become their master. So it's a whole new kind of exploration. The nation that master most of this space technology and colonize most of the planet and space may find tremendous wealth, technology and power in the future. All this may benefit their economic and global power. And it appeared that China may be winning this space race even though the American tried to block China from international space station around 10 years ago. The Americans say they banned China because of national security reason. And I mean that was what they also say when they banned Huawei and banned China access to advanced microchip technology. Well, it appeared that it it looks like it is always the same old excuse and model answer. I mean, it may or may not be true, but but well, maybe most people feel that, you know, the American maybe is just trying to stop 
China from overtaking the American. I mean, it may or may not be true, right? So what's your view on China winning the space race? Is American superpower status under threat? How will it affect the world economy? So please subscribe, share and like. Thanks for watching.